as an untitled speech. Postmaster Ramdan, good luck to you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Any questions on what we have covered so far? <laughs> <laughs> delivering a speech and delivering a baby is the same labor process. It's the same creativity that involves. <laughs> I was pregnant for the last 39 years with my icebreaker. And finally, I am delivering it here today. I met my parents 39 years back, first time, and I was so excited about the meeting that I forgot about the dress code. <laughs> <laughs> Moving to Dubai was part of my growth strategy, both horizontally <laughs> and vertically, because I'm growing out of my hair. <laughs> science has proven that the human brain takes your 20% of your calories. So since I was not using them up over here, and they started growing hair. <laughs> Second is Dubai weather. Dubai weather, it can turn any corn into a popcorn. <laughs> so vertical growth, which is baldness. Basically, there's an old saying, it says that if you are bald, you attract wealth. And that's very much true in my case because I have silver in my hair, sugar in my blood, <laughs> kidney in my stone, and inexhaustible supply of natural gas. <laughs> in the middle of Well, on a serious note, I have big and high aims in my life. I want to be a millionaire. And it's not just a wish, not just a dream. I've started working on it. Last week, I bought a lottery ticket. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's buy a ticket to, to the time machine, and I'll take you back to my childhood. I was great at sports. I came third in 100-meter race. There were three participants. In <laughs> I was an extra ordinary player of my uh, colony's cricket team. They called me 12th man, I don't know why. <laughs> they especially recruited me to retrieve the balls that goes into the annoying neighbors. <laughs> and I was the one who picked them up and bring it back because of my innocent look at that time. <laughs> it's not just the looks. Uh, I was great at studies. I was an outstanding student. And you know what, what does it mean by <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what to do with my life. I didn't know what's... What's my problem? Because everyone asking me the same question, what's your problem? <laughs> Until one day, my dad took me to the doctor. Doctor asked, you guess, what's your problem? What's problem? <laughs> he said, do you feel tiredness? I said, yes. Do you feel pain? I said, yes. Do you feel lethargic, laziness? I said, yes. Not only me, but everyone around me feels the same. <laughs> He said, oh boy, we got to know that you might have some vitamin deficiency. They tested me and they found that I am a vitamin D deficient. Oh man, I was on top of the world because I got to know that this was the reason of my long life laziness. <clears throat> Moving forward, I found a light at the end of the tunnel, not because of this diagnostic. But I found, uh, I mean, we moved to a new city. We, we started a new life, a new place. I found a friend who introduced me to the books, to the public speaking, to, uh, to dramatic club. And that was so strange and so weird. I was a 12th man all my life. I was not good at studies. I was average in sports. I was the shyest person that you can imagine. And then I was doing wonders. I was going, uh, representing my college throughout the country. I was winning medals, shields. I was even selected in national radio as a broadcaster. And I did hundreds of shows for more than eight years. 
Moving forward, July 2006, to be very precise, 17th July 2006, I landed in Dubai. I never lied in my life, except once, and that I just did. <laughs> <laughs> And because of this nature, I landed a job in sales. <laughs> it's been 12 years. <laughs> it's been 12 years, and I feel like I'm a 12th man again. <laughs> I forgot that I was a warrior, not a survivor. I lost in touch with my passion. I lost my voice. I lost my strength. I lost my courage. I lost the way that I was moving forward. I feel tired. I feel pain, I feel laziness. I think I'm vitamin D deficient. <laughs> I need to find my voice. I need to find my strength. I need to find my passion. I need to find my real core of the life. And I'm here in this club to find my real strength, to find my passion, to find my sunshine. Thank you so much. Wow.